Hi everybody, this is Gavin Sand here. Are you ready for hardcore Beach Body 21 Day Challenge? So what we're trying to get today is we're trying to get this nice stuff going on right here. Now obviously, day two, hardcore, we're talking about tummy and back. We want to try to get this as hard as possible. And we want to get it as toned as possible. Now obviously just doing abs isn't going to cut it. It's going to get you hard on your knee. You're going to work on your six pack obviously. Problem is, is you need to be doing your cardio and you need to be eating well and you need to be well hydrated. So I didn't say this in the first video because there was just so much things to say. So in video two, we need to know this. Drinking a lot of water, it'll be on your sheet. You want to make sure that you're trying to get, if you're doing a specific cardio, if you want to run or walk, you're trying to get at least a mile a day. This should be, if it's a walk, 15 to 20 minute walk. If it's a run, well, hopefully it doesn't take you much more than seven or eight minutes. <laughs> this is how you're gonna get going. That's all you really need to get going. Six times a week is the best you're gonna get out of that. If you can do more time, go for more time and less days. Um, so are you ready to work on your core? Let's get going. So we're gonna start with the mountain climber. I moved these around so that we weren't doing all the same stuff always at the same time. So the mountain climber, you're gonna be using your core, you're gonna be using your obliques. So that's what we wanna get going here. I'm gonna go show you, we're doing a minute. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you the basics. You can play with the speed that you're doing it. And then I'll show you a harder version towards the end. So are you ready? Let's get her started. The position, make sure that you're comfortable. Bum down. What you're gonna do is you're gonna tap. So tap, 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 tap. Keep your hard core going on. We wanna make sure that you're not bending and sagging. You wanna make sure you're not doing this. This is hard on your abs. So keep her straight, as straight as you can. And what you're gonna do is you can actually make this faster. Okay, as a skip. Or keep it in this position. If you want to make it more difficult, what you're going to do is you're going to go out here. This demands a little bit more of your sides to go. Keep on going. Don't forget to breathe. Make sure that you're not moving too much the body. It's just holding you up there. And anytime you feel it's too much, go back to to a tap, to a tap. For this next exercise, there's different names for it. We mostly know it as the Russian twist. I usually just call it the twist. So what you're gonna be doing, or the V twist, what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna grab an angle and you're gonna try to stay there. I'm gonna show you some modifications to it. Um, you can make it harder or easier, but what we're trying to get is as many as we can without you know, getting all yucky in your quality. I wanna have some nice ones the most that you can in a minute, okay? So your speed can go, I'm just gonna give you an example before we get started, can go from being nice and simple and just counting them so that they're really nice and twisted to bum, 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 okay? As long as you're not hurting your back, okay? So let's get started. I'm gonna show you how you can make it harder as we go. And here we go, are you ready? So here we go, start. Start slow, you're better off starting slow so that your back can accustom to the actual twist. If you wanted to use a weight, you could use a weight. The more you go down, the harder it is because you have to work your abs. Now, if you come up and lift your feet up, then you're bringing your lower abs into the workout because it's upper abs in most cases. You can go quicker. And I'm going to show you what it looks like from this angle. And then you go. And if this is too complicated, you can put your feet back down. And you can come back up. And if you come back up, you're working different angles. So you can make it either harder or easier. Harder, easier, fast, or slow. For this, this next one, what we're gonna do is a crunch. Now, crunches are pretty basic. 
The only thing I need you to do, if you've seen my other videos, I usually talk about making sure that your, your back is flat. So what you're gonna do, first of all, put your feet down, usually about a 90 degree. Um, it can go up to 45, depending on how you're comfortable, okay? If you need to, if your low back is a little tender, you can have your feet up because it will push you into that low position, okay? When you're gonna get going, position one, tilt. Wanna make sure it's tilted, okay? Bringing the head up, tomato under your chin, hold that tomato. This is gonna keep your abs flexed. We want these always engaged and your back as flat as you're capable of doing so. Now, crunch is not a sit-up. A sit-up would be an actual full motion, and a lot of people can't do that because of their backs or the strength. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be doing a crunch. You're gonna start with your hands, position one, hands on your thigh, and we're gonna be going up towards the knee. That will be position one. So we're gonna start with that tomato. We're gonna be doing a minute. So you do as much as you can if you need to. You can take a break and start again, okay? And I'll modify as we go. Are you ready? Let's get going. Keep track of how many you're doing. If you're breathing out on the way up, I'm talking, so therefore it's happening on its own. But if you're breathing out on your way up, your lungs will be emptied out. And if they're emptied out, you will be able to go further. You're just trying to reach for the top of your knees. Now, if this is too easy, you can proceed by having the hands up here. We're adding a little bit of weight. Now your center of gravity, having your hands here, is making the weight heavier at the back part, okay? Now if you're finding that this is still too easy, like you really wanna get a workout, like if you're used to doing 100 crunches, in a minute you won't have time to do so. So you can have your hands here, cradling your head, interlock, and pushing here. This is much more difficult to do. So keep track of how many you get done. Keep that gap in your neck. Keep your pelvis pushed forward. So for this next exercise, we're doing 30 seconds of side planks on each side. So we're gonna be doing a total of one minute. Um, there's just the basics, the basic plank, what you're gonna be doing basically is have one foot in front of the other. This is gonna give you a little bit of support here so that when you're going up, you're not sliding forward or back. You wanna to try to keep your angle straight up, okay? Your hand, you can have on your hip, you can have up on your head, you can have up in the air. Whatever works best for you is what I want you to do, okay? Doesn't really matter how many you get to do here because you could just hold your position for 30 seconds and it will be doing a good job and then we'll be switching sides. If you wanna make it harder, you'll be putting your feet stacked one on top of each other. You got more balance to work with. So let's get started. First, elbow under shoulder, legs straight, push your hips up. You're starting in this position. So the timer is started and you wanna make sure that you're holding your position. You don't wanna be forward, you don't wanna be back, okay? Try to be straight. If you need to, have your hand up, it will keep you into the position. If not, you can have it here or here, and you can even do some motion here. As long as you've got 30 seconds on one side and then the other. Are you ready to switch sides? Um, same thing, other side. So make sure that your elbow is underneath your shoulder, pop up your hips. Hands on your hips or up in the air, whichever you want. As you notice, I have feet on top of each other, just making it a little harder. And then you can do up and down. You can have your hands here. Have your hands here. Just make sure you have your position. You want to make it harder? Woo! -hoo! Much harder! And we're going to tie this in. In this next exercise, we're doing the scissors. Now you can modify this, but I find that doing the full range of motion does a better job. And the slower you do it, the better it is. We're doing a minute's worth. Um, but like I said, you want to try to make it more slow than fast. You're actually going to get more work out of it. So again, you need your chin up to keep your abs contracted. Hands cradling your bum. You can interlock if you like. One leg flat up. 
one all the way down. Okay, so you're starting in this position. Try to have your legs locked in if you can. Some of you are not gonna be flexible enough and will be here. Your abs will be working a little bit harder. So be careful on this exercise so that your back stays flat. Are you ready? There we go. You can alternate or you can do, this is much harder because here you're supporting a lot more weight. Here there's no more weight bearing, but you can do them like that. But typically, this is what scissors would be. Keep on going, keep breathing. I keep breathing through this. If you wanna do it faster, you can. Again, I don't want them. This year of working, you're gonna actually injure yourself. Just take it easy. Keep counting so that you know how many you're doing. Keep breathing, we're almost there. Full breaths. So our next one is the famous plank, the plankety plank. There are two positions that you can choose to do. There's the harder position. Um, you may be able to tough it out, but you may not be able to get to your minute. You can take a breath, you know, like take a break and take a breather in between. However, I prefer that if you get stuck, we'll, I'll show you around the 30 second mark what you can do. Try to tough out the first 30 seconds. You'll see as you get this going, it'll be easier and easier. So let's get started. So. It's easier if your feet are against something, you'll tend to be able to push off with it and you'll be more comfortable. You can go wide and you can go tight. You can go leg up if you wanna make it harder. The thing that you wanna remember is that your elbows are beneath you and your bum's not up in the air because then you're putting all the pressure on your shoulder and your bum's not down because you're putting a hell of a lot of pressure in your lower back and your abs. So try to stay in a good position. You can have your hands flat. I like to pray. So here we go and keep breathing throughout this exercise. Keeping the head in position helps a lot as well. I'd say try to keep your tummy in. It's not gonna happen. It's forcing, it's holding you in. So it doesn't look super sexy when you're doing it, but what you wanna do is you wanna try to tough this out as long as you can. Now let's say you can't do it no more. I can't do it no more. What you're gonna do is you're gonna lift yourself up and you're gonna grab a position, like a push-up position, and you're just gonna hold it. Okay, this is an easier version of the plank because of the angle of the motion. You're carrying less weight in the upper part of the body. Hold it, don't quit on me, hold it. If you're not sure, squeeze the bum, you'll know if you're in the right place. And there you go, you got it, we're done. So there you have it, day two, down. What you wanna to try to do is you wanna to try to do the best that you can in the highest position that you can for a minute. If you can't tough it out, do take a break. It's okay to take a break, go drink some water, but make sure that you get back to it and try to improve your time. Now remember, a bikini body is not given. If you have it given for free because your genetics are super hot, God bless, be grateful, okay? If you don't have it, you're gonna to have to work for it. It's okay, it's all doable. It takes time. I've been training for 15 years. I know that you can get bigger and smaller, but you wanna make darn sure that you keep working always just enough harder than what it is for you to do naturally. So until next time, see you later.